Hello, and welcome back to Knights of the Old Republic. Uh, I've got Mission in my party and HK-47, and I want to get rid... Uh, I want to go through this one piece of dialogue before we go into the Sand People area and knock that out. Hey there, what can I do for you? Um, I want to talk to you about... I wanted to talk to you about your brother. Talk? What is there to talk about? Those sand people took my brother prisoner. Griff may be a slime, but we have to go rescue him. We can't just leave him with those, those, those monsters. And she says that while <laughs> wearing their garb. Um. Okay, uh. Don't worry, mission. We'll get him back. I knew I could count on you. There's definite fringe benefits to being friends with a Jedi. Okay. So, with that said, let's go into the Sand People territory. Acknowledgement. What? Okay, we really don't have any real problem. We're not going to have any real problems um, going through this area at all. And we might as well pick up the free... Uh, mines. And there's actually a, a lot of stuff around here to loot, I think. something there. I periodically look, uh, try to look around. Also, don't get too close to any of these sand people. They may recognize, recognize us, they may not. Funny thing is, the HK-47 doesn't trigger them at all. Okay. They must have looted that body themselves. It's so bloody... How did I miss that one... I don't know how I missed this, uh, mine. Although, admittingly, it's a little, um, annoying getting close to the Banthas here. Because they just, uh, cause my, um, controller to vibrate like all heck and... I'm just seeing what else is lootable around here. I thought there was another body around here, but I guess not. Oh, maybe it's over here. Oh, okay. Guess not. Maybe it's this patch of color. I know we could have just gone with a beeline straight to the door, but... Oh, well, these guys have all seen better days. Yes. Right, I'm gonna switch over to our main character and through the door we go. In 
interjection. One moment. I believe I understood that, Master. It may not have been his intention, but he did actually communicate something. Not his intention. I love that. Uh, never mind that. Get ready for fight. Why can Why can you understand it and I don't? Yeah, and I can't. Cautionary. I am unsure, Master. Now is not the time for speculation, however. I will attempt to address your question later. Alright, so tell them we're not a threat. Translation. <laughs> Result. I believe I have succeeded in confusing him, Master. We have shown an interest not common among outsiders. Uh, apologize for being here. Say you want peace. Translation. Translation. He is expressing disbelief. As am I. But his duty requires that he report to his chieftain. Extrapolation. It would seem that we are at least worthy of curiosity for the moment. I would much rather this get bloody, Master, but it is your call. <laughs> Translation. I can translate with some guarantee of accuracy that he is demanding to know why he should let us survive this encounter, Master. Um, why are you able to speak with the same people when I can't? Extrapolation. I understand that you are force sensitive, Master, but I lack sufficient knowledge to make an accurate assumption. Hypothesis. Perhaps your ability does not take the place of actual language study when the subject is out of the ordinary. Or perhaps the sand people confuse your ability because they actively refuse to communicate with most outsiders. I have no data on this, sadly. Okay. Tell him we want a peaceful solution. Translation. Translation. He claims he has no reason to believe you, Master. Your kind have tainted this land with machines and uncaring, ignorant feet. Translation. He requires proof of good faith. We must make a contribution to his people that shows we are not a threat. Shall I blast him now, Master? Uh, no. Um... Ask him what he wants. Translation. Translation. He plans to move his people farther from Anchorhead, but they need to build up stores of water first. He says you must aid him. Translation. He wants moisture evaporators from the Zerka. If you deliver them, he will order that his people reduce their attacks on miners. Um... Tell him we will get his work. Translation. Translation. Hmm. He does not believe you, Master. We will only be allowed to re-enter the Enclave when we have the evaporators with us. Translation. We are to be escorted outside. He will wait, but he doesn't believe we are coming back. Okay, so... We will, um... I'm gonna get dressed. One. <clears throat> okay, while I was at it, um, I teleported back here. And I forgot to de-equip and re-equip our weapons. One moment. So, I went in and re-equipped our characters, and we're going to... Uh, I'll check on his stuff later. Okay, well, as you could see, um, we had the option of just blasting the way out, our way through there. No, I... 
You know, I actually don't know if I should just cut out all that travel time. I mean, even though it wasn't mere minutes, but... Um. 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 It's not really your concern, is it? <laughs> uh, in exchange with the sound, people would stop their attacks. Okay, well, um, I think we have plenty of cash, so. Okay, so now we have the moisture, moisture vaporators, we can head over to, back to the thing. Also, if you want to churn in what you have, as far as, um, gaffy sticks, you can at this point. And, just in case you didn't have enough money. <coughs> Translation. He did not expect us to return, Master. He wonders if we have brought the moisture evaporators. Yes, yes, we did. And I cannot believe that I actually got through that entire desert without being ambushed. Wow. Um... Tell we have them, we the evaporators. Translation. <laughs> Translation. He does not trust you, Master, but you have done more than any other outsider. They will not attack, and he grants you his chieftain's gaffy as reward. Translation. The attacks will be reduced, and he will allow you to explore this enclave, but be warned that any lack of respect will result in death. I have a few questions for him. Protocol. If you truly want this sadly peaceful arrangement to continue, be careful of what you ask. Okay, um... Ask about captives. Clarification. We must be more specific, Master. They capture many organics. Ask him about the uh, mission's brother. Translation. Translation. He says that by his very presence, this griff defiles their home and land. He is without any semblance of usefulness to them. Yep, that would be griff. Extrapolation. I would assume we are free to take him. It is doubtful they will even waste the effort to kill him. Perhaps we could do it, Master. Um. Protocol. We should not keep him long. It is an insult to take too much of his time. Unless the plan is to blast him when you are done, of course. Um. Ask about the star map. Translation. <laughs> that what you seek is far from here in the eastern dune sea he will give you a map so you can find your way translation his people found it but didn't scavenge it because a crate dragon took up residence in the excavation uh a crate dragon what is that how do i get past it? translation <laughs> 
Translation. Your ignorance isn't his concern. He claims there is a hunter that wanders the area sometimes and that you should ask him. Translation. The hunter is a Twi'lek. He will be in the eastern dune sea somewhere. Um... Don't pull up. Translation. <laughs> Translation, we are free to leave. Okay, so we got to level up out of that. Now, if you guys are at all inclined, um, if you want, if you think you can survive it, you can actually. I'm wondering how the hell you secure a wicker basket, but whatever. Um, if you want, you can actually um, try opening these baskets here. And that will provoke the sand people into attacking you. And you will keep any light side points that you have accumulated thus far. Um, now, I believe we already have everything that we need. Um, But if you haven't picked up Bantha Fodder, this rag pile's safe. Uh, so... Do not, I repeat, do not open up any of these wicker bins here. The loot is... Quite frankly not very worth it although I believe these refuse piles are perfectly fine they don't care if you rub them rummage through their trash they do their personal belongings. Yes, they. Yep. And here's Griff. Uh, you there? I'm a uh, I'm a high-ranking executive at the Zerka Corporation. Uh, there's a big reward if you take me back to Anchorhead. Griff, don't you recognize me? It's Mission. Mission? Is it really you? I heard Taurus was destroyed. I, I thought you were dead. Oh, joy of joys, my little sister is alive. I have to ask you something, Griff. It's important. I ran into Lena. She she said it was your idea to leave me on Terrace. It isn't true, is it? Uh, well, I, there's the truth, and then there's the truth, you know? I, I always meant to go back to Taurus's just as soon as I had the credits to pay off my debts. But credits have been hard to come by. You mean it's true? It was your idea to leave me there? I'm your sister. How could you abandon me like that? Come on, sis. You didn't need me to look after you anymore. Y you may have been young, but you knew how to take care of yourself. Besides, you're here now. I mean, everything worked out fine. That's it? That's all you have to say to me after all these years, after deserting me on Terrace? Well, that and, uh, could you please get me out of here? You got a tough looking friend there. I'm not risking my life getting you out of here. Uh, the same people said you can go. Run to Anchorhead. Yeah, you can find your way from there, right? Can you manage that? What? Is there something else? Uh, well, I, I wanted to thank you, and, um,. You look like you're doing well. Uh, financially, I mean. Say, um, could you spare me a few credits to get back on my feet? You're hitting me up for credits. I don't believe this. Lena was right about you, Griff. 
We should have just left you to the sand people. Don't talk to me anymore. Ever. Hmm. That didn't go well. Sis was always a little too fiery for her own good. She'll cool down in time. Uh, don't be so sure. Ah, she'll be okay. We had our fights before. Too bad, though. I really could have used a helping hand right now. You may have saved my life, but I don't have a single credit to my name. Say, you wouldn't be able to spare me some credits. Just till I get back on my feet, you know? <laughs> Forget it. <laughs> You're nothing but a deadbeat. Huh. I uh, guess you've been talking to Lena, too. That's okay. I'll figure out a way to get by without your credits. I always do. Besides, uh, I've already got a job lined up for me. Krita, the manager over at the Zerka supply shop, said I could come work for him if I ever get tired of the mines. Yeah, I think I'll go take him up on his offer. You know, maybe there's something else you can help me with. I need to talk to a guy first and set up the details, but if you're interested in a job, come see me in Krita's shop. Goodbye, Mission. Uh, I'm glad you're not dead. Hmm. Oh, at least she waved. Uh, so he'll be fine. Now these Jawas. Okay, um... Okay, so if you're in the middle of clearing this place out, they're safer in there. Uh, again, do not touch any of these wicker baskets. Let's talk to the chieftain again. Query, what do you wish to ask of him, master? About Cactus. We must be Ask about setting the Jawas free. Translation. Translation. He says that the captive Jawas are slaves and that they have lived past their usefulness. You may take them if you wish. Translation. Translation. Okay, so now, obviously, we can just cycle back here and then tell the Jawas they can leave. Um, if these magic walls would just leave me off. Sam, people said you can go. Run to Anchorhead. Okay, so we got our obligatory 150 experience points, and like I said, if you're one, if you want to get all this experience, all these experience, all this experience points for killing all these people, just open up a wicker basket, go attack you, and you can even sell the. Um, Moisture Vaporator back to um, the guy in the at Anchorhead. Uh, so I'll meet you guys back at Anchorhead. Okay, so we can now turn in all of our gaffies. Greetings again from the offices of Zerga Corporation. Is this about bounties or something else? Um... Gaffies. I see that, but do you have the all-important chieftain's gaffy? That was what you agreed to get for us. Okay, I'm gonna say n just the regular ones for now. Then I'll take those off your hands, but the real prize is still out there. Okay, um... I have some gaffy sticks. I see that, but do you... Yes, here it is. Well, that is a very big headache that you've removed. I'm sure there are still sand people out there, but they'll be quieter now. I think I'll give you a bonus for this. You've more than lived up to your side of the bargain. Zerka Corporation thanks you.
uh, for a bit more, I could maintain vigilance. It would be valuable to have someone on call if the Sand People made another incursion. I think you're right. Yes, here's an additional reward. Once again, Circa Corporation thanks you. And you can do that without costing you any light side points. So... Just in case you guys were wondering, it's like, well, what's the benefit of uh, doing the light side? Well, you get 1,300 experience points for your troubles. But you could double that. But the level cap in this game is only level 20, so it's not really a uh, that big of a deal. Uh, and then we're also going to talk with Griff. Just the person I was hoping to see. Hmm. Save it, Griff. I'm not talking to you. I want no part of whatever you're involved in. Okay, sis, I see you're still mad. Fair enough. I don't think you could help me with this anyway. It's uh, more of a job for your friend here. Um. Okay, I'm not trying to. As you may know, tac glands can be refined to a very potent powder. It's the primary ingredient in Teresian ale. That's what makes it so strong. Of course, now that Taurus is pretty much wiped from the face of the map, Teresian ale has become somewhat scarce and uh, very, very valuable. Luckily, I know the secret recipe. Problem is, I need one of those tack glands to make the first batch, and now that Tyrus is a smoke and ruin, the only place to find tack is on. If you can get your hands on one of those tack glands, I'll make it worth your while. Griff, are you blind? Can't you see you're talking to a Jedi? We're out here trying to save the galaxy. We can't waste time on this. Please, you have to help me. I, I, I promised this guy from the exchange a sample of Teresian ale. If I don't come through for him, he's gonna break my legs. Or worse. Yeah, I knew you'd come through for me. You won't regret this. You'll see. Uh, just, just don't take too long, okay? This guy from the exchange could stop by any day. I kind of told him I already had the stuff, so if he shows up and I'm empty-handed, well, let's just say I really, really hope it doesn't come to that. <laughs> <laughs> 